This is Video Lancer. After a long pause, I'm back to create video tutorials on my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make any camera animation in Deforum Stable Diffusion without complications and mathematical formulas. We'll animate the camera in After Effects and then export the animation data directly to Deforum. To export camera to Deforum, we additionally need to install the Motion Pro plugin. This is my free After Effects and Premiere Pro plugin that you can install via Creative Cloud Desktop. Also, you need to install my free AE2SD preset pack for the Motion Pro plugin. Now everything is ready. Let's start the tutorial. In After Effects, open the Motion Pro plugin and select the AE2SD package. Here in the Create section, you can add to the composition a 2D scene for 2D animation mode and 3D scene for 3D animation mode. Next, I will show an example of such an animation for the 3D scene. Before adding the scene, create a composition with the same resolution, frame rate, and frame count as in Deform. Now add the 3D scene to this composition. To start, you need to animate the camera control layer here. Let's animate the camera's tilt along the z-axis. Move forward and add a keyframe to the camera's X rotation. Shift the timing indicator by a quarter of the timing. Here for clarity, add a reference layer and animate the camera tilt. Move forward again to the middle of the timing and add animation keyframes for the Y axis tilt. Add another reference layer on this frame and animate the camera tilt. To make the animation more expressive in this fragment, Let's animate the Z position of the camera a little. And finally for the ending, let's animate the camera's position along the X axis. Now we have such a linear animation. Let's smooth it out. To make the animation even smoother, Edit the keyframes in the graph editor. Now, let's add the camera shake effect. To do this, you can insert a wiggle expression into the position and rotation properties yourself. But I already made this shake preset, so just click Add Camera Shake in the plugin. Next, we export the camera animation to Deforum. To do this, go to the Copy Data section in the Motion Pro plugin. In the Info section, click Show Properties for Copy. In the list that appears, the properties that have animation are displayed, and these are the same camera properties that Deforum has. First on the list is the Translation X property. Click on the button of the same name in the 3D Animated Properties section. In the window that appears, we received a sequence of keyframes in the format required by Deforum. Copy this data, and in Deforum, paste it into the Translation X field. Do the same for all other properties from the list. Next, we export the data for prompts. Click the prompts by markers in the Motion Pro. In the window that appears, we received a list of frames with prompts in the JSON format required for Deforum. These strings are derived from the markers on the reference layers. You can paste this list to Deforum in the Prompts field. Then, by double-clicking on the caption, write your prompts here for the current frame. If you're going to be redoing the animation and moving keyframes and markers so you don't have to rewrite the prompts, insert the prompt directly into the reference layer marker. Now try to generate animation. Ready! As you can see, the camera in Deforum repeats the After Effects camera movement pretty well. If you need to animate something other than camera transformation in Deforum, you can do so. For example, let's animate the step schedule from 1 to 100 so that the image is of the worst quality at the beginning of the animation and gradually improves. 
in After Effects, create a new null object. For the position property, separate dimensions and animate the X position from 1 to 100. With the X position still selected, click on Export Selected Property. Paste the received data to Deform into the Step Schedule field and generate the animation. Next, we will look at some features of the 2D scene. Like in 3D, you need to animate the camera control layer here. The difference is that instead of the Z-axis position, you need to animate the layer scale, which is the same as Zoom. In addition, the 2D scene has an additional controller, Target Point. This target indicates the center point of Zoom, or camera rotation. In Deforum, this property is labeled Transform Center X and Y. When creating a zoom animation, you may encounter the problem of a lack of duration and animation speed. The problem is that in Deforum, the zoom can scale infinitely. In After Effects, reducing the camera control layer to less than zero will scale the reference layer in the opposite direction. Next, I will show you two possible solutions to fix this problem. The first solution is to remove intermediate frames. At the composition beginning, set the first keyframes to create the start of the zoom animation. Move to the end and create the final animation. Export zoom keyframes. As you can see here, the frames with animation come in order. Then the range of frames where the zoom was not animated is skipped, and the sequence of frames for the ending immediately continues. Delete the frames that don't have animation and paste the resulting data to Deform in the Zoom field. As a result, like in After Effects, the zoom gradually accelerates, then moves linearly, and finally slows down. The second solution is the zoom speed factor. Animate the zoom from the beginning to the end by slightly increasing or decreasing the reference layer. Now, in the Effect Control Panel, increase the value of the zoom speed factor, for example, to 2000. Export the zoom data and paste it into Deform. Now the zoom speed is many times faster than the scale of the reference layer. To enhance the zoom effect, let's add a shake effect and animate it so the shake smoothly increases at the beginning and smoothly decreases at the end. Also animate the camera tilt. Ready! Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss my new video tutorials and products for motion design. It was Video Lancer. Bye!